your KSBR Storm Team forecast. Well, here across the Ozarks, we've been watching for rain all day long, not from Gordon, but from a different system that's pushing its way down. You can see this front. It's this clear line of showers and thunderstorms that stretch from Texas all the way up to Wisconsin. As far as right here in the Ozarks, though, you can see for far eastern parts of Kansas, even up by the Kansas City area, there's been a few pockets of heavy rainfall and a few readings of even an inch to an inch and a half of rain in total from this. It's been since this afternoon, though, that we've been watching all that moisture ahead of the front pushing its way into right here in the Ozarks and again you can see that very clear line it's stretching from about Windsor all the way down to Osceola down toward the Joplin area and Neosho it looks like you've been getting some rainfall as well and over in Diamond City and as well as Bolivar there's been a few little pockets of rainfall just showing up on the radar so let me know if you have a rain gauge at home just how much rain you've been seeing again this front is going to slowly sink its way back down into the Ozarks it's been the main rainmaker for us and you'll notice it just kind of hangs out over the Ozarks as we wrap up the week and even go into the weekend. Now, the closer we get to the end of the week, not only will we be focusing on this front continuing to trigger the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, but we'll see a nice surge of moisture moving in from the Gulf from the remnants of what is now Tropical Depression Gordon. So let's talk about Gordon for a minute. Right now, it's been downgraded from a tropical storm to a tropical depression. Right now, much lighter winds, but you can still see that very clear spiral moving its way just up to the north of Jackson, Mississippi. Here's the projected track that we've been watching for this all day long and why we're saying even here in the Ozarks that we could be uh, impacted by it. As far as things go by the time the end of the week gets here, so this is Friday 7 a.m. The projected path takes it just up to the north of Little Rock, up to the parts of northwestern Arkansas. This is going to be pushing in a big surge of moisture. And remember, it'll be interacting with that front, giving us a chance for a few showers. Now, the strongest amounts of rainfall they are expected to be just down to the south of Little Rock area, so this storm will continue to lose momentum as it gets to the Ozarks, but it doesn't mean that we'll be missing out on the chance for rain, especially because by the time Saturday morning gets here, look at this path, expected to be right over the Springfield area. As the weekend wraps up, though, and we move into the day Sunday, while well, that moisture is going to be pushing its way up to the northeast and continuing to track its way a little closer to the Great Lakes. Rainfall amounts in total. We'll talk about round one of this. So as the front continues to push its way down into the Ozarks, this is rainfall amounts all the way through Friday morning. So you'll notice some of our far northern counties. So closer you get to maybe I-70, that's going to be where you could be talking about maybe one to even two inches of rainfall in total versus most of us in the Ozarks still looking at some pretty minimal impacts of this, of probably even less than half an inch of widespread rainfall. This weekend, remember, it's Friday and Saturday that we're going to be seeing that front push its way down across the Ozarks. Ozarks, interacting with more of that tropical moisture from the remnants of Gordon, and it could be creating a few areas that even see about two and a half to four inches of rainfall. Wouldn't be surprised within this, especially for some of our eastern counties, if we see a few thunderstorms that produce upwards of about five inches of rainfall or so. So this is certainly going to be something that we're keeping a close eye on. Here's a closer look at the timing for all of this. So remember, system one that we're watching for, that front pushing its way down from the northwest, and it is going to continue to create a few spotty showers for us, like we were seeing from the radar image. It is going to be not necessarily a widespread washout, but if nothing else, a few pockets of thunder and lightning can't be ruled out either. Into the day tomorrow, continuing much like we saw today and much like we've really seen the last few days as we add in the heat from the afternoon, a stronger chance for a few more of those showers and thunderstorms to develop. And it really won't be until Friday and Saturday that we start to see the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon continue to push its way into the Ozarks, and give us that nice surge of moisture. So the theme the next few days, of course, watching for the rain this evening not really an exception to that i think if you're getting ready to drive back home just make sure that you're watching the roads remember they can be a little more slick when they're wet and later we get into the evening we'll be losing some heat from the day and continuing to watch for just a few passing clouds and a chance for a few spotty showers as well the weekend though again that's really where our focus goes where we're going to be continuing to see a more widespread chance for rainfall and take a look at these temperatures as a result the continued rain and clouds will be allowing those highs to fall back down into the mid 70s Coming up next.